In this video we're going to look at dividing fractions that have negatives in them. So we'll do these examples, and uh, these four examples, and then, then these two here at the bottom. Okay, so um, let's begin. And uh, I guess before we go anywhere else, I just want you to understand why you flip the fraction on the right and multiply really quickly. So a uh, quick recap of dividing fractions. Um, when we see, you know, 10 divided by 1 half, what we're saying is how many halves are contained in 10? Okay, the reason for that is if, if you imagine something like, you know, 15 divided by 5, what's the answer to 15 divided by 5? 15 divided by 5 is how many 5s are in 15, right? Is 3 because it's 3 5s in 15. 1, 2, 3, okay? And in fact, you could have done that 15 as a fraction over 1 divided by, you know, 5 as a fraction, 5 over 1. And you could have flipped the fraction on the right and multiplied. So you could have got 15 over 1 times 1 over 5. See that? And 5 and a 5 go, we could cross cancel here. 5 and a 5 goes once. 5 and a 15 goes 3 times. So that gives us 3 times 1, 3 over 1 times 1, 1. In other words, 3. So you can see just with this example that, divide, that flipping the fraction on the right and multiplying is the correct way to go. Not the fraction on the left. That would mess everything up, wouldn't it? Okay. So, you know, obviously if you, you know, when you're doing 15 over 1 divided by 5 over 1, if you flip the fraction on the left, you'll get 1 over 15, you know, times 5 over 1, that's 5 over 15, okay? See, that's not right, is it? Because that ends up being 1 third, not 3, okay? So, that's why you flip the fraction on the right. And so, 10 divided by a half, you're asking how many halves are contained in 10, right? So you're saying a half plus a half gives one, and then a half plus a half, that's another one, right? So how many halves do I need to add up to get to ten? How many halves? Right. So there's two halves in one, so how many halves are in ten? Many halves in ten? Well, there's got to be twenty, right? So that's why, so the answer is definitely 20. Now, if I write this, okay, 10 over 1 divided by 1 half times it by this fraction flipped upside down, guess what? You'll get the right answer, you see? Because you'll get 10 times 2 is 20 over 1, right? Which is 20, right? So we flip the fraction on the right and we multiply. So just wanted to make sure you understand that. So we're dividing by that, so that means we can multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction on the right. We write it 12 over 11, okay? And then fill everything else out. So it's negative 11 twelfths times 12 over 11. Now we can cross cancel common um, uh, factors. 11 into 11 goes once. Please put the ones down. 11 into 11 goes once. Please write it down like that. What, what else can you do? 12 into 12 goes once, 12 into 12 goes once, right? So what this gives us is a negative, look at this, it's a negative times a positive. What's the sign going to be? The sign is an, it's a negative times a positive, the sign's going to be negative, right? Because negative times negative is positive, negative times positive is negative, right? So we have negative times positive, that's a negative. Now 1 times 1 is 1 over 1 times 1 is 1. So it's negative 1 over 1 or negative 1. So the answer is negative 1. So go ahead and do this one. Write it down. Negative 5 thirds divided by negative 5 thirds. I want you to try this yourself. Press pause if you need more time. Write it down and do it. Okay, I'll help you with it now. So that becomes negative 5 thirds multiplied by the reciprocal of this guy. And the reciprocal has the same sign, by the way. You just flip him upside down. 3 fifths. Okay? Negative 3 fifths. Okay? So, um, 
we have negative by the way and you can use parentheses if you like that might be nice to use parentheses just so you can see you have a negative times a negative right? what's negative times negative what's the sign positive right and can we cross cancel see 5 and a 5 goes once 5 and a 5 goes once anything else you can cross cancel the threes also right 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 3 goes once. So we have positive 1 times 1, 1 over 1 times 1, 1, which gives positive 1. And that's the answer, 1, right? So this answer is just 1. This answer was negative 1. Let's go on to these guys. Negative 7 ninths divided by negative 56 over 99. Write this one down. And try it, and then we'll do it. I'll do it with you. So negative seven ninths divided by negative fifty six ninety ninths. So we're dividing fractions. Negative seven ninths. If I divide by this fraction, I multiply by the reciprocal, and the reciprocal has the same sign. It's just negative. We flip it upside down. Ninety nine over fifty six. Okay. and you can use parentheses if you like and you can see that that's definitely a negative times a negative so what should the sign be positive right and can we cross cancel common factors nine into nine goes once nine into nine goes once nine into nine goes once or you can do all this together. 9 to 99 goes 11 times. Right? But that should, you should have 11 up here. What about the 7 and the 56? Will that work as well? 7 into 7 goes once. 7 into 56. Eight times, right? So we have well I'll do it over here a positive number 1 times 11 is 11 and what do you have on the bottom on the bottom we have 1 times 8 which is 8 so positive 11 eighths or just 11 eighths and as a mixed number that could be 8 into 11 goes once remainder 3 so 1 and 3 eighths or 11 eighths whichever Right. So write this one down and do it yourself. Four fifths divided by negative twenty four thirty fifths. Four fifths divided by negative twenty four thirty fifths. And then I'll do it. Okay, please press pause if you need more time. I'll do it now. So we've got four fifths multiplied by the reciprocal of the fraction on the right. It's still gonna be negative, but it'll be upside down. 35, 24. Okay, you can use parentheses if it makes it look nicer with the fractions. Okay, now we can decide what the sign is going to be. We've got a positive times a negative. What's the sign going to be? Positive times negative. Sign's going to be negative. Notice that we're proving that when you take a positive and divide it by a negative, you get a negative. See that? So we're proving some rules here. Anyway, we'll go over that in a sec. But when we cross cancel, 5 and a 5 goes once, 5 and a 35, 7 times. What else? 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 24, 6 times, right? So we get negative 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 6, 6, negative 7 sixths. And as a mixed number, what's that? Negative 1 and 1 sixth, right? Okay, so I just want to point out the rules that we've been proving here. Notice that um, this one was a negative divided by a positive, okay? So we had a 
negative divided by positive. I, I want to write it with the fraction bar actually. So I mean this was a negative divided by positive and what was the answer? See it flipped, it became a just like a negative times a positive and the answer was negative, right? Then we had these guys. These were negatives divided by a negative. This one and this one, right? So when we did negative divided by a negative, what do we get? It ended up being negative times negative, which became positive. Look at this. Negative became this negative divided by a negative became a negative times a negative, which was positive, right? So we've proven that. And this one is actually a positive over, a positive divided by a negative, isn't it? It's a positive, you see, divided by a negative. And the answer became negative. It actually turned into a positive times a negative, right? Which became negative, right? So we've proven some of these rules just by doing these fractions, right? Okay, so if you have whole numbers going on, what do you do? 5 divided by negative 1 fifth. Write this one down. How would you divide these guys? You've got to write the 5 as a fraction. What's, the, what's 5 as a fraction? 5 over 1, right? So it's 5 over 1 multiplied by the reciprocal of this fraction. What's the reciprocal? It's going to be a negative flip it upside down, 5 over 1, right? So we've got 5 over 1 times negative 5 over 1. What's the sign? Positive times negative, negative. 5 times 5, 25 over 1 times 1, 1, which is negative. How many 1's are contained in 25? There are 25 $1 bills in $25, so Negative 25, right? Okay, press pause, write this one down, do it yourself. Negative a half divided by 2. Okay, I hope you tried it yourself. I'll do it now with you. So it's negative 1 half. And by the way, what's 2 as a whole, as a fraction? 2 is 2 over 1. So we can write that over 1, and so it's negative a half times the reciprocal of 2 over 1. Flip it upside down, 1 over 2. So it's a negative times positive, which is negative. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. So the answer is negative 1 quarter.